Good morning, you guys. It's October 29th. And it's drizzly rainy out here on the mountain in Kentucky. I look like crap. I haven't brushed my hair yet. I've walked the babies, made us breakfast. Breakfast is a biscuit with gravy and some orange juice. And I'm about to sneeze. Hey! <laughs> hoo, hoo. Thank you for blessing me. Um, so, yep, I'm about to have this... Uh, Biscuit gravy and OJ for breakfast. I'm supposed to meet a guy. I'm supposed to meet a guy at a dollar parking lot at a dollar general to give him these old fuses that came out of my fuse box when I um had the electric updated. I was cleaning off. There's like this ledge by my back window in the back room. And, um, I, um, was cleaning it off and I found the con a, a container with all the old fuses and stuff. Uh, allergies with all the old fuses and stuff in it. And, um, I, uh, thought, oh, I could throw these away, but some of them were couple were new in package and I was like, I really hate to throw something away that maybe somebody's having a hard time getting because their fuse box is not updated. So, I put it on Swap Shop up here that I had them. And there's been a couple, you know, biters on it, but I don't know. There's one guy... He texted me a few times asking me if I had them still. And I guess, I don't know. Communication with him has been a little weird. I did check his profile. He seems harmless in his profile. Because you can tell a lot by somebody's profile. I just think he's a bit of an idiot. But I don't know. Because some of the comments I made to him, I didn't think yes needed ex explanation. And I didn't think, um, I told him a lady wanted him first. I said, if she changes her mind, I'll let you know. And so I, t I texted him back a little bit later saying she changed her mind. And he says, what does that mean? And I'm like, she changed her mind. She doesn't want them. So I just don't know. But that's okay. And I don't know if he's from the area. He didn't one I, I mentioned two places we could meet. And one of them, he was like, I don't know where that is. And I'm like, okay. I know where it is, and I'm not from the area, and I've had a very hard time figuring out what different roads were called. So I'm I'm hoping it was just one of those situations where where um roads have names and numbers. And it's like back home, I know where something is, but I use a landmark to find it. Like, I'm like, oh, it's there in the corner of where Walgreens and CVS is, you know, instead of what the main road is. So I'm hoping it's just one of those situations. But I figured the parking lot at the Dollar General, because it's a very busy Dollar General, because it's kind of the only store out in the area. And every time I've been there, there is... 12 or more cars in the parking lot. I mean, there's 20 plus cars. So, this should be a fairly um, busy place this morning. And I told him as long as it's not raining, and it is still raining. So, I will decide within the next half hour if I'm going to bench. I got to brush my hair. Boy, I got to brush my hair. I had a rough night last night. Um,. Um, I would decide about a half hour whether or not I'm venturing out on this crap. I'll let him know. Supposedly, according to my friend Bevels, who gets a different weather channel than I do, I just do Google, 
she has local on her phone. It's supposed to be snow flurry sometime Monday. I don't know for sure though. I do feel better today. I um did get some sleep last night. I finally slept. I fell asleep around midnight or after a little uh, somewhere between midnight and one. I fell asleep finally, and I didn't wake up until about seven ish, and I didn't get out of bed until close to nine. So. Is the headache gone? No. The headache is not gone. But I feel better. That's why I'm eating. I'm not eating a huge breakfast, just a biscuit with some gravy on it. I wanted to make biscuits anyways because <clears throat> I thought a biscuit would taste good with um <clears throat> with that potato soup I made. And usually I have leftover biscuits anyways. When I make a can of biscuits. And um, I end up feeding them to the dogs with some wet dog food or egg on top of them or something. So I break up little pieces. I don't give them a lot. They don't get a huge amount of food outside of their um, dry dog food. I usually feed them... Okay, Gracie's a big dog. She's 60 pounds. Prissy's about 5 to 6 pounds. Okay, so we're talking two different sized dogs. <clears throat> and I usually open up a regular can of dog food. And we will get about three to four feedings off that regular can of dog food. Because um, I don't give them a whole can of dog food per a meal. And, excuse me. And I get those, um, like those pouch, those, I get these. I've showed you guys before. I get these pouches with uh, moist sometimes. This is the one I don't like to normally get. Ones with the little cubes. I like to get the ones with the little skinny things. But this will usually last, um, we're talking two dogs. We're talking maybe two to three meals depending on how much because i don't i i give prissy probably prissy's bowl is you know the a little bit more prissy's bowl is probably not more than two tablespoons of food and it's more like the old-fashioned serving spoon size that came with your silverware which nobody gets anymore i gotta pull this down it's driving me nuts half down anyways but she usually gets about a serving size spoon. And I'm not talking a big black plastic serving spoon that everybody uses. I'm talking like the old fashioned serving spoon that came with your dishes. She gets about that size. And Gracie gets um, more like three or four tablespoons of uh, total kind of thing. Her bowl is a little bit more, but because <clears throat> she's a bigger dog. It's not giving them big amounts. It's giving them a little something. And it's usually breakfast time. And dinner time, I'll give them a little something. And they have dry food down all day. And honestly, I don't think they eat a whole bowl of dry food because they eat throughout the day. You know, sometimes Gracie will go stand at the dry food and give me that look like, Mama, 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 uh, I'm having to eat this. And orange juice was so good. I enjoy orange juice, but... I try not to drink it all day long because I think it causes heartburn. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think so. So I try to get my glass of orange juice in in the morning if I've got it on hand. Now, if I've gone days without drinking it, I might drink it in the evening, a glass of orange juice. But while right now, while everybody gets sick and the weather's changing and the weather's been changing on me up here in Kentucky, I have decided... That it's a little it's a little nippy in the house this morning. Not not cold. Just there's a little chill in the air here and there. Um I had decided to make sure I drink orange juice every day almost. And then I take a vitamin C gummy. I try to take it every night, but I forgot to take it last night. And multivitamin every night. And I might it's like the doses is two gummies or I might take one every night or something or every other night. I don't want to overdo the vitamins either. I knew a gentleman who um, actually, he was very healthy, very healthy conscious. And 
uh, actually, he was taking too many vitamins and died. So I don't want, I just want to be safe. But I'm basically going to see how the weather goes in a few, get dressed, and go to meet that guy probably. But okay, you guys. I had a little hard time getting to sleep last night because I had such a bad headache. I just had a hard time getting to sleep because, you know, you can be so tired. You can have, you can't get to sleep either. Okay. You can be so tired that it's hard to get to sleep. So finally I got hungry because I really, I wasn't, when I had the coffee around five or six ish, I really wasn't hungry and I went to bed, I'd say nine-ish, but I got hungry and I still had to put away that soup I made. So I put it away in, in the canning jar like I told you guys I was going to. Um, it wasn't a lot of soup, so it filled up a canning jar. So that's three lunches right there. All right, so I had very little left, okay? I mean, if you have dessert side dishes, I had very little left in the pot that would not fit in there. So I thought, okay, it smells good. My tummy's a little bit hungry now. Um, I'll eat it because if I have a full belly, I'll sleep better. Well, um, I ate it and then I um, went to wash up my dish. And I heard a noise. Okay. I heard a noise in the kitchen here. All right. And I'm like, oh crap. I hear a noise. And then I realize it's coming from the ceiling. Okay. Is it coming from the drop ceiling or is it coming from the old ceiling above? I don't know. I was not investigating it. Okay. I just know that last night in my kitchen over my sink, there was something in the ceiling. Now. It's an old house. It's over 100 years old. Somewhere between 1 and 150. I don't remember. I don't know yet. Um, rough guesstimate, I'd say it's 130 years old. Okay? Rough guesstimate, I would say that due to conversations I have had with people. And certain people who went to school here. You got to do the math. If they've been dead several years and they went to school here. And they died in their... They died when they were in their late 90s. Uh, you got to do the math, okay? So, that being said, I said to Gracie, I said, Gracie, there's something in the ceiling. Watch guard. I went to bed because I'd taken, because nothing had worked on the headache, and I've been having slight allergies anyways due to the weather change, the leaves falling, and everything. So, I feel like I got this constant, like, little allergy thing happening. And I told Bevels my eyes were bothering me. And she was like, excuse me. She was like, is it your allergies? I said, I don't, I don't think so. Because I don't feel sick at all. And I wear a mask when I go out. In fact, I wear a clean mask. I have extra masks. <clears throat> and when I wash my masks, I put them antibacterial dish soap. And I pour boiling hot water over my masks when I wash them. And I wash them out by hand. And then I hang them up to dry. So my masks are clean. I mean, you can't get any cleaner than antibacterial hand soap. I mean, dish soap. And a boiling hot water. I mean, if there's another way to sterilize them any more than that, I don't know what it is. Um, so <clears throat> my masks are clean. And I keep, I keep extra masks on me. That way, if I get somewhere and... I've touched the mask a lot or I get my nose gets itchy a lot because of allergies or something. I can take it off <clears throat> and I can set it aside and bring it in, wash it, wear another one. So that being said, I have, where was I going with this? Oh, I've been staying healthy. I mean, I, if somebody's, if I go in a store, I try my best to not get very close to anyone. I will stand at, stand at an end of an aisle and wait for someone to get done or go back to that aisle later. I really try to do that six to eight feet apart thing and stay away from people, okay? <clears throat> and I have hand sanitizer in, my, in the car, the gel kind, and I carry 
a spray bottle of liquid hand sanitizer in my purse. I'm not crazy. I'm not spraying everything in sight, but I do spray my hands when I leave a store. Bef I try to do it before I get in my car, but if I don't do it before I get in my car, as soon as I get in my car, I put the other stuff on me and I wipe off my steering wheel too. So I'm trying my best to keep the cootie or the oogie boogie cooties away. Okay. So that being said, I took a Benadryl last night thinking, okay, Benadryl is not going to kill me. If, if it is allergies, it's going to help me sleep better. Because usually the only time I take Benadryl is for a cold or allergy attack. Or number one, when a wasp stings me. And usually I'm out within 20, 30 minutes. Boom, Benadryl kicks my butt. Last night, Benadryl did not kick my butt. So I had a little hard time getting to sleep last night. And I know you guys really care to hear about this, but I got nothing else to talk to you about right now and nothing else to do right this minute except for get dressed and think about going and meeting that guy. So I'm sorry if I'm boring y'all <laughs> or if I'm entertaining y'all. Great. But now I'm going to do my dishes, wash up my dishes, put away my extra biscuits and something so that <clears throat> I might have a ham biscuit for lunch when I get back. I'm trying my best not to spend any money. Out. I'm okay. I'm trying not to eat out a lot at all. I mean, I've gone through fast food once since I've been up here, and that's when I went to Arby's. When I went to Maysville, so I have only gotten fast food once since I've been up here, and that's been oh my goodness, almost over a month, uh, five weeks. So I've only done fast food once. So I've been out to eat with Bevels and West twice. So I've only eaten away from home other than, you know, away from my house or Bevels house only three times. So I'm, because even though it's people taking precautions, I just don't, I just don't want to take any chances. So I've been eating at home the whole time. All right, I'm going to stop boring you guys. And I'm going to get my dishes cleaned up, put away my extra gravy and my biscuits, and then I'm going to get dressed and see if I'm heading over to that Dollar General to meet up with that guy. There is, I do need to get some olives and some pizza sauce, but I'd really rather get that at the pizza sauce at Save-A-Lot. So I may wait until tomorrow because I have to go to the post office tomorrow. Husband sent me a care package. It should be here today, but I don't know what time and I don't want to drive all the way down the mountainside into town just to get a package that might not be there yet. So I figured it'd be safer to get it on Friday than to get it today because it was supposed to be delivered today to the post office. Well, then it certainly, certainly should be there by Friday. If today's Thursday, I think today's Thursday. Okay, I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, I did not make it out to the Dollar General to meet that dude because it is raining and I am not driving on these curvy mountain roads in the rain and I just have a bad feeling about doing it. So you have to go with your gut. So I'm preparing dinner for tonight. I'm going to cook a couple pieces of chicken. That way I can fix some, the chick, dogs can have some chicken too. I have put inside this container some dehydrated mixed vegetables and some um, wild mushrooms, okay? I bought them, so they're safe. But what I'm going to do, take you around here, is later tonight, I have these cute little cr uh, cookers, cute little pots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that up with the vegetables, chicken gravy, some chicken, and I'm going to put it in the oven. And then I made biscuits this morning. See, I made biscuits this morning. I'll cut a biscuit up and put that on top of here. And I'll make like a chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. So that's my plans as of right now is to make dinner with that tonight. Have chicken pot pie. I'm going to have the potato soup for lunch today. And I'll have the meatloaf tomorrow night or something. Because I just pulled it out. I pulled this out a day earlier than I did the meatloaf. But I'm going to... I've got water heating up here. So I'm going to go ahead and 
pour hot water on these dehydrated vegetables and they should reconstitute themselves. So I'm going to go all the way to the top and let them do what they got to do. And um, if it doesn't look like it's enough vegetables, I'll do more. But we'll wait and see what happens. So we'll put a we'll put a lid on that and let that heat up and get re happy. And I will put this in the microwave and go ahead and cook my chicken and get it all prepared for tonight. Don't mean to make y'all dizzy. So I'll cook my chicken in the microwave. And then once it cools, I'll shred it up and get that ready for tonight. And that'll be dinner tonight. Yummy, right? And then I'll have my potato soup for lunch today. Um, probably won't have a biscuit with it since I'm going to have a biscuit on dinner tonight. And I had a biscuit for breakfast, so I probably won't do that again. But yeah, this will reconstitute itself. They're already starting to get plumpy. So I might even use the broth off of that to make the gravy. So we'll just wait and see. We'll wait and see. But that's my plan. So I'm going to make a cup of coffee now. Have a cup of coffee. And then I think I'm going to work on doing the pendants. Uh, put cords on the pendants. So I will show you guys later how the chicken pot pie came out in the little oven. In a while. Okay, you guys. I don't know if I said it before, but I didn't make it to go meet the guy. I've been cording up some pendants. But I'm a, this is kind of boring, <laughs> cording them up. So, but they did, they're coming out nice though. They're coming out really nice. See, they're coming out nice all corded. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Isn't that pretty? But I'm cording them up. Let me take you into the other part of the house. Come with me into the front room it's a bit chilly here i got the heaters on i got sweatpants on i got a jacket on i got lots of layers of stuff let's keep going i'm gonna go in the cold room okay usually usually my jewelry travels in these but i forgot to bring extras so but usually my jewelry travels in these. So, um, and on top of, I put my jewelry in. They hang on this kind of stuff. So, that being said, I need to, um, decide if I want to work on Putting together some of these canvases. I have extras. I brought them with me from Kentucky, from Florida. I got extra canvases here. I got extra canvases. I got to take them out of the thing. Because I'm going to see how those corded necklaces I'm going to put. I got to put um, jump rings and lobster claws on the ends. And I got to see how many will fit nicely in each side of these. And then decide... How many of these? Because I only brought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven empty this size and this other size. I brought eight of these. They're just a little bit longer. So I got to decide how many I want to use for this project. So that's what I got to do next. This room is kind of a catch-all. That's the display shelves that I'm going to put on this wall here. When I, it'll go on this wall here. The display shelves, maybe I'll do that a little bit later. Um, that's my printer section. The thing about a printer is I have a printer, but this is the thing. I have a brand spanking new printer about two years ago in Florida in the craft room. It's a little bit different than this one. This one is simpler. This is the only one I could get. And they scare me, believe it or not. I, I've only used this once to, um, when I had to return something to Amazon the other day. 
they said make a printer label and I was like <gasps> I haven't even opened the printer yet so I finally opened it two days three days ago well I opened it I opened it on Saturday last Saturday we shot the box I opened it on Friday for the shipment to go out on Friday I think so um I think it scans and copies I don't know yet I think that's what this means. Anybody know? I don't know. Usually, I don't mess with this stuff. The last time I think I copied anything was medical reports um, for my mom a few years back when I had to record, when I had to print something for her to send to uh, Aflac. But that was a two, three years ago. But so that's 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 out of my world right there. But the room's a little bit of a catchy mess, y'all. I've been saving boxes because I've been burning them. I fill them up with excess paper and stuff for my projects when I cut up stuff. And then I just go burn it in the pit. So I got lots of boxes to burn over time. Um, I got to clear those out so I can burn those boxes too. So it's a little bit of a catch-all, a little bit. You know, this is jewelry displays. That's what these are. These are jewelry displays. This is a sign. Where there's signs. So, but that's what's in here. Jewelry displays. Some tablecloths. Oh, pipe cleaners. I got to pull them out. Yeah, that's what these are. Some feet. <laughs> Doesn't everybody have body parts? See, I got body parts up there. Doesn't everybody have body parts? So, but that's what's in here. I can't remember why I want a pipe cleaner. So, oh, I do now. Okay, well, I got to get this get this stuff all. I'm going to piddle fart around the house today and maybe set up these displays, make myself productive. I don't want to make any more jewelry right this minute. I'll do that a little bit later. It's a little bit cold in there. Not so cold in here, but... So I'm going to say, I'm going to stop this here. Um, maybe I'll start another video when I show you, well, maybe, maybe I won't stop it. Maybe I'll show you guys my chicken pot pie and then stop it after that. So we'll do that. I'll make the chicken pot pie and then we'll go from there. All right. In a bit guys. Okay. You guys, jewelry displays are up. My phone is ringing, so I got to go answer it, but they're up. That's not how I do it for show. I usually flip these around. And Velcro them to the front. And then I keep everything on the back side. But for here, for space sake, and I want to see what I got, I decided it that way. I've got some jewelry that fell off of the displays. I'll pull them out later and put them back on. I need to know what exactly I have so I know what I want to deal with. All right, in a bit, guys. Let me go see who just tried to call. Okay, guys. My stuff is a boiling. So now I'm going to take a, a cut up biscuit and I'm going to turn it upside down and put it in here and then I'm going to put it back in the oven, put it back in the oven, I have to get the lid back on it. Oh, I'm going to take that lid off, change my mind. I'm going to brown that biscuit. So I'm going to take that off and that should be a very good like chicken pot pie stew kind of thing so that's what's for dinner tonight the doggies will give a little bit of gravy over some dog food and some chicken I saved them so that's what's for dinner all right in a bit guys I'll show you when it's done all right you guys I think my dinner's done it's all boiling Probably this would have been good if I had like raw biscuit dough and I dropped it all across the top like like the biscuit dumplings. But, or if I had uh, croissants or something and I put that across the top or something. But I'm going to enjoy this. It's going to be more like a soupy kind of thing. But I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to say, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. If you don't, I'm sorry. But enjoy the craziness of life because you might just laugh about it. You tell a friend. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Yummy, yummy on a cool night.